Without further ado, let's get C6 Faros on in about 50 pulls. Let's go. Or one pull. Nope. I mean, it's garbage. Hey, there we go. All right. Off to a great start. So we don't have really much to go, but easy clap. There's at least one. And we have plenty to go. Even if all goes worse, it's fine. It's fine, Goro. I'm going to have C6 Goro by the end of this. Ooh, Rain Slasher. Yikes. We wished two times already, so now we're at 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, can get a girl con? What? I can't get girl out of my life. Honestly, if I lose 50 50, I won't even be that mad. I'll have more chances for Farzone. Okay, I should. Let me just stop skipping. <laughs> let me just stop skipping. Um. I guess it doesn't matter if he's already there. It's good. All right, this is probably the five star, if anything. But will it be Skara? Oh, oh. Okay. Lost, but we got it. We got Tainari. Oh, that's like a one in six chance now. Did not see that coming. All right, I'm not mad at that at all, honestly. That's fine. Oh my god, we're getting boned on Farozans though. Never mind. That was two four stars. Uh, I think that might be all. Well, uh, unfortunately, I have not farmed for Tainari at all, so uh, I'll have to get on that at some point. All right, so we did lose 50-50. Uh, that is my fifth loss <laughs> in a row now. <laughs> ever going back ever since. Kazuha? I think before Kazuha, even. Nope. Actually, it's fine. I want to get more Farazan cons. I'm not. So say I'm not gonna skip because it keeps ending up Goro, but never mind. Nope. The <laughs> wrong bell. Hey, here we go. Okay, that's like at least C3 or so. Well, it might be close. It's gonna be a guaranteed Skara, of course, but. Yenfei. It's about. Oh, I'll take that. That's fine. Do, do, no! No Gordos. Fab Sword. God, Scar is being stingy. It's taking everything from me. It's okay though. It's, it's it's okay now. It wouldn't be okay like a week ago, but another Faro's on. Probably won't get as lucky as we get with Kali, but oh, one string, one mirror. Mm. Oh, there it is. There's our boy. Here's our boy. Oh, I'm be honest, kind of scared me. Kind of looked like Tainari's theme for a second. Oh, two wanderers. Pause champ. Pause champ. Oh, girl. I was like, hold on. Oh, we got one. Still looks pretty evil, all things considered. So wow, we got a we got a Farozan. C C three, yeah, C three Farozan. A copy of well, C six Goro. Well, I need to go to my other account for this. And we got a. Am I blind? Oh, we got a Tainari. Nice. So now going forward, we can actually we actually want his guns for sure. Ooh, man. Farozan looks so good. She has like the shapes in her eyes. And a Tainari, nice. So we got brought home two five stars that we actually wanted. We'll do we'll do just one more since going forward we can just kind of do whatever with our primos. Well <laughs> that's good for the next next time. Now we have a guaranteed item. Wait, or do we? 
Hold on, I can't speak too soon. Can't speak too soon. Can't speak too soon. I think, I think we're good. God damn it, Goro. All right, we're good. The two people I didn't want. All right, there we go. Well, that was a good last poll to do. He kind of sounds... Okay. Interesting. Relax. Would you please? Oh my god. Why why did I wish for him? <laughs> why did I do this to my account? Accounts are ruined forever. Oh my gosh! It goes so fast. Aw, oh, but only short though, like they cuck you. Wait, oh no, that's gliding speed. Never mind. Ooh, that eats up your points. Yeah, going up is... Yeah, can't really go up that much. Fury. Yeah, can't really go up too well. But you can go... We can go forward by a lot. That's pretty good. They didn't give him fire zone? Quit following me. <laughs> nice. Let's fly. Ooh, this is just like, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he can, is it just me or does he sound different? It kind of sounds different. Oh, they gave him, yeah, weapon level 80. New set. Oh yeah, you're supposed to charge attack. No, it's still Patrick, yeah, that's, that's him, it's Patrick. It just sounds a bit different for some reason. Oh, we can like, oh, you like dodge too. Can you just spam the charge attack? Wait, what? I gotta wait for the cooldown. <laughs> you just spam the charge. It's like, it's immediate, too. Looks pretty cool. It looks, it looks like an AoE hit. Ooh, that's not good, though. That's not good. Is there any resistance to interruption in this kit? I don't think there is. Pyro, Cryo, Electro, 30... Attack crit rate. No, there's no interruption resistance. Hmm. That's not a good sign. I'll be fine though. You're already in the air, so. But like that heli trail has a, a bow and arrow, and if he hits you, you kind of fall back a little bit. His charge attack is ridiculous. Yeah, he's just about as fun as I thought he was going to be. But I feel like the exploration is really going to be where he shines. We do that. This. Oh. I did the wrong rotation. Ooh. Okay, the buff is nice. Oh, I can't, can't even buff. No. Oh, I'm getting yeah. First, yeah, first death is coming up real soon. Oh no! Please stop hitting me. I don't even know who's doing that. I mean, it, it is a Bennett buff to be fair, but it's kind of nice. Well, let's see. So it's like yeah, 20k, 30k sometimes. So here's, here's what I'm worried about. It's nice, but it's nice when I'm feeding every possible buff into him. <laughs> so without it, I don't know. But I mean, that's the whole point in Genshin, right? Is to work together. So also, oh.
I didn't level his talents. I didn't level his talents. I didn't even touch the talents. Oh my gosh. I literally forgot entirely. I was so focused on the fire was on, I didn't even think. Well, hey, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, you know, level one talent, he was doing 20, 30k with all the buffs, but that was a domain buff too, but still. I guess that wasn't too bad. So my Zhao is not that great, but let me just see it with nothing. So... Okay, well, I'm getting 50% from the domain as well. It's kind of a bad example here. So 23. Ow, please. Ooh, okay. I saw a 29. 29. So yeah, about like an 8k or 10k difference. Oh, there is the, yeah, the domain buff too. Alright, so it's a very meaningful buff, honestly. I like Farzan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get out to eight. This one, it's it's nice too, honestly. But I might. This might be worth going all the way. I'm not gonna lie. Kokomi Wander. And I don't know what buff we got for Wid Sith, but it doesn't look like it was attack. No. Kind of got got there. Oof. I was gonna burst, but. Get his back. Oh, let me get it. There it is. Oh, no one's grouping. There we go. It was, yeah, a little bit. God, we are going to die. We're all going to die down here. <laughs> we'll see about that. No! I can't keep stacking. Keep on getting hit in there! Okay. I have like two minutes, but still might not do it. Oh gosh. Better in. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got a good buff. Ugh. And you get blasted out of the ult. Oh, this is not good for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, how did you get this a perfect shot? That is ridiculous. Literally got the perfect shot, that is too much. So after a while of playing Scaramouche and getting to know how he works and getting my first impressions on him, I can definitely say he is a very fun unit and I'm glad I pulled for him. However, I will say my expectations were a bit high going into it. You know, I was expecting like mid-air Dragon Ball Z battles with him. You know, like fighting the Aeon Blight Drake midair, you know, in Spiral Abyss. But of course, you know, his E's not going to be, it's not going to last that long, you know. And speaking of his E, flying is probably like the coolest thing ever in terms of overworld. And he's like my favorite character for overworld, like easy, you know. However, when it comes to combat, flying can actually be a hindrance sometimes because getting hit out of the air is brutal. But nowhere in his kit does Skara have any resistance to interruption. So when he's flying in midair and he gets hit by something, he will just kind of fall over. Now he'll get back up and you can attack again. But of course, at that point, you don't really have that much time left in your E to attack. So getting hit with him is really devastating. But, you know, once you play him more, you'll get used to like dodging more often. And that's why he has the passive that allows him to do damage when he does a dodge and you know it isn't rng but it's very useful because you will have to dodge every now and then besides that that's the one thing i have that to say about him that's not that great it's like getting hit out of the air and no sort of like you know resistance other characters can make up for that of course if you want to with a shield character like layla or zhongli maybe even toma 
But either way, at the end of the day, like I said, for Overworld, he's like triple S tier, you know? Like, I don't think anyone's gonna beat him for Overworld for a long time. I think it'll be just a cool character to have going forward. And when he does come back on his rerun, it'll definitely be worth getting Farozan's constellations because I can definitely say for some odd reason, I kind of liked Farozan more than I did Scaramouche <laughs> on the first couple days. So I think Farozan's an amazing character. Unfortunately, she has some energy issues. Um, so you really need a lot of ER on her. And I got up to about 240 with like a Fav Warbo and the uh, Energy Recharge Sands. So this used to be my Jean set, but I just kind of put it on her. So she does need a lot of ER and it is a problem. You really need to have a lot of ER on her. Um, and constellation wise, it can help. I think if you get C4, that's also a pretty big help on your energy. And of course, C6 is also a big help as well. But this character before C6 is gonna be sort of like Sara, but not as bad. Um, once you get to C6, it'll make her 10 times better. But honestly, I love Farozan even at C3. And you know, she's just great, so. And she's not dedicated to Wanderer. She's just an animo support. You can use her with Zhao, Haizo, anybody you want who's animo, who does damage. So honestly, really love Farozan. Unfortunately, she does have the energy issues, but as long as you compensate for that, it's okay. And then of course, uh, Fandango. <laughs> of course, Wander, Scaramouche, um, very fun. But that's all I really have to say about them. Um, didn't get too much of a chance to play as them all that much, but I played, you know, enough to kind of get a good understanding. But going forward, I hope I learn a lot more and I hope I get to see things from you guys, like some ideas and team comps and whatnot. Um, but so far, I've just tried a lot of Bennett comps, uh, triple animo comps. I've tried like, you know, uh, Yaylon with him. And freeze is actually pretty fun because no one can hit you. So <laughs> freezing people and then using the animo is good. And uh, yeah, I pretty much use him only with Farozan because that's like the, the one character that really help him out. But he's fun, he's fun. Is he someone you need to pull for? I would argue no one in this game is a need to pull for, honestly. But what I'm trying to say is, is he someone who's like meta defining or anything like insanely crazy? I wouldn't say so myself. I wouldn't say any of that, you know? But I'd say if you're someone who doesn't really care about Spiral Abyss that much and you just like to play with your characters in the overworld, this is probably close to that point where he's like almost a must pull if you really care about the overworld like that. But besides that, I'd say he's just a pretty good character. He's just, he's solid. He's solid, you know? He hits pretty hard, but he is a solid character. For me, I could only get him to level 80. I got the R5 with Sith on him, level 90, of course. And I got the brand new artifact set, but I didn't get good pieces. So it's pretty cope, but I'm just trying my best and I'm um, trying to make him work with the brand new set. I shot him on Echoes and Shimanawa and it also worked pretty well. But of course his own set is what works best. And then C0 and hopefully one day 888. Might even go even higher if I want to. But that's my build for Fondango. <laughs> and here's the build for Farozan. Uh, Warbo, because the energy is just needed. R5. And then I gave her a VV. And she's at C3 at the moment. Hopefully one day I can get her to C6, I hope. And she's at 198 for talents. Let me know what you guys think about Farozan and Scaramouche. Do you like them? Do you hate them? What's your build on them? Did you just skip entirely? Most importantly, if you did pull for them, are you having fun? But that'll be all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed and good luck on your pulls going forward and I will catch you guys in the next one.